Hi, I'm Mrs. W, and I'm here to talk about Shira Fleischer. Shira doesn't realize it yet, but she might be a future lawyer. She's passionate about her opinions, and her desire to fight for what she believes in is remarkable. I can't wait to see what she does in the future. I hope she continues to have as much faith in herself as I do. Hi, my name is Rini Isser, and I'm here today to talk about Sophia Maisel. Sophia is a kind, caring, and vivacious young lady with an infectious laugh that makes everyone around her laugh as well. She's a good friend and is always there to help her friends. Sophia, we'll miss you and your adorable giggle next year in the middle school. We wish you had slachara in the upper school next year. My name is Rachel Kosowski, and I've had the privilege of teaching Zamira this Zamira Humash this year. I would like to highlight something which I've noticed about Samira this year in my class, which is her strength of character. Without fanfare and without drawing attention to herself, Samira distinguishes herself by her level of menschlichkeit. Even with her broken limbs, which unfortunately there have been way too many of this year, Samira is often the first person to volunteer to move desks around, to pick garbage up off the floor. I appreciate the importance she places on being available to support others, which shows an unusual level of maturity on her part. Zmira Mazal Tov on successfully completing eighth grade, and may you continue to grow in your Torah and Midot Tovo. Miriam is an incredibly friendly and helpful young woman. It is great to see her increasing successes here at school, but even better is her positive attitude and her willingness to help others in need. It could be a friend, it could be a preschooler, or an elderly visitor to our school. She helps everyone. Miriam, we'll miss you in middle school. Best of luck next year. Zachary has a buoyant energy that really lights up our classroom. He's also a favorite for skits because of his natural acting ability and his truly hilarious accents. He loves language and knows how to use it persuasively in both creative essays and analytical ones. With this combination of gifts, Zach might eventually become a politician, a lawyer, or one of those successful doctors who also write best-selling novels. Who knows? But first, I wish him much success in the upper school next year. Tehila, the praiseworthy one, is so stellar and yet so humble. Your dramatic monologues, your TED talk, your absolute sensitivity and thoughtfulness for me and for everyone is unforgettable. Listen, Chatsi Etzba, I want to hear great things. No pressure, of course. You've been through thick and thin with me, and you still bounce along with your Shirley Temple curls into my class with that sweet and endearing smile. You will be sorely missed. So come for Shabbat. Nota bene. Thanks for Nat Lewin. TZ Leaptag is somebody who I wish was my own daughter. She is mature and impressive in so many ways. One of the things that I admire particularly about TZ is her ability to see the big picture. She doesn't get bogged down in what's going on today, but is able to look at all situations and see, will this matter in the long run? And how can I have a positive impact on others? TZ has been an awesome role model for our other students, and I will miss her next year. Hatzlacha, TZ. Abigail loves words and is a true poet with language who always pushes herself to write ever more complex and sophisticated sentences that often sound like they were written by a high school student. Abigail is also a true artist, which is why I was not surprised to learn that she's an accomplished dancer as well and recently performed at Strathmore Concert Hall. I will miss having Abigail in class next year, but I look forward to seeing her in the upper school hallways and I wish her much success. The Mida of Gevura is to be able to take a tremendous amount of energy, harness it and channel it into a goal. Noah, you have a tremendous amount of creativity and energy and you've proven yourself to be able to harness it and channel it into amazing classwork participation and almost the highest test score multiple times over. Take that with you 
channel your energies, don't stifle them, and take that with you to the upper school and forever. Mazal Tov. Ari will one day be a famous scientist and I will proudly tell people that I was his teacher. Ari loves learning and gets excited every time we start something new. It is always exciting to see his mind in action. We will miss you, Ari, next year. Have a great summer and good luck in upper school. Rina is one of those people who asks questions because she genuinely wants to hear the answer, even if that's not an answer she hoped to get. She challenges herself, which reminds me to try to always challenge my students. She is a force to be reckoned with, and I can't wait to see what she does next year. Hi, my name is Rabbi Weissman, and I'm here to talk about Mayor Abibo. Mayor brings such excitement to everything that he does. Whether it's in davening, it's in class, it's in the hallways, he, he always just brings such a great mood to, to everything that he's involved in. Uh, also, something that inspires me about Mayer is just that he always, always wants to grow in his connection to Hashem and his relationships with his friends and his teachers, and I miss, wish him much Hatzlacha next year. Sarah Rabin is gifted in understanding other people. When she's in your presence, she appears to be quiet and focused. Well, she is. Once she opens up, she's very expressive. I know Sarah will accomplish great things in her future. One fun fact about Sarah is she loves to ice skate. I wish Sarah great success in upper school. I'm here at the Yeshiva University National Model United Nations and I'm going to talk about Tekoa, Salt and Reisler. One day Tekoa, Salt and Reisler will be at the Yeshiva University National Model United Nations because she is a tremendous orator. She speaks her mind and she is a true believer in equality and rights for all. And I got to teach her. So Mazel Tov Tekoa on graduating 8th grade. My name is Rachel Kosowski and I've had the privilege of teaching Tova Chumash this year. One of the things I've noticed about Tova in class this year is her eagerness to learn and her diligence as a student. Tova stays focused in class, she raises her hand often, asks, asks clarifying questions when necessary, and explains concepts to her peers as well. This is a great quality to have in a student and a great quality to have for life in which we're always learning new things and have to put effort into our growth. Mazal Tova on your completion of eighth grade and may you continue to go, Michael El Chayel. Although I never got to teach Molly, Navi, or Toshba, I had the opportunity to work with her outside the classroom on some projects. This year, she came along with some friends to organize a big sister program, which was a huge success. Molly takes initiative and puts her effort into whatever it is she's involved in. Her smile and positive attitude adds so much to the environment that she is a part of. Molly, your positivity and desire to get things done inspire those around you. You will be missed next year in the middle school. Hatzacha Raba. Hi, my name is Rabbi Weissman and I'm here to talk about Ben Zatman. I've been lucky enough to have Ben in my minion for two years and also this year in Jewish history. Ben is an asset to any place where he finds himself. He is a Valkore, he is a Shaliyah Hatzibor, and Everybody loves to have him around. He's a great friend. In class, he brings a, a great energy to the whole environment. Much luck next year. It is always a pleasure to teach students like Eliana Zaghi. I had the honor of teaching her in sixth and seventh grade. I remember how impressed I was with her growth as a student over the two years. She's also so kind and supportive of her friends. While I don't have her in class this year, she still finds a way to brighten my day by hosting dance parties in my classroom with her friends. Good luck next year and come back to visit. I'm here with Avi Strauss, who's the Secretary General of the Yeshiva University National Model United Nations for this year in Stanford, Connecticut. Barack Eisenman will one day be the Secretary General of maybe not just a model UN, but the actual United Nations. Um, and I'll be able to say that not only was I his teacher, but I was also his faculty advisor. I mean, this guy's unbelievable. He's like the unbelievable deli. He's like a mad dog. He's making resolutions and motions and motions resolutions. Uh, he's a model UN maniac. Um, he's also a great guy and a real mensch. Barack, you'll be missed in the middle school. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov, Barack. Hi, 
my name is Miss Newsom, and I'm the middle school admin. I'm here to tell you why Maya Einhorn is a wonderful student at our school. Maya has a warm personality. For example, when she comes into my office, she immediately smiles and greets me before asking me to assist her. One fun fact about Maya is when you ask her a question, she will respond with a scientific answer. I wish Maya great success next year in high school. When I think of Natan Winter, I think of the word resilience. In addition to being one of our brightest students, Natan is somebody who doesn't let small things get in his way. I taught him last year in World Studies and the whole class would wait and listen to what Natan needed to say because his answers were interesting and showed his wide range of general knowledge. You will do great in the upper school next year, Natan. Hatzlacha. I want to talk about Gabriella Fine. She is somebody who has such a positive attitude, even when she's frustrated about finding something difficult. She always comes into class with a cheerful smile, which, which just lightens up the whole class. She works hard until she understands something, and when she finally masters a new concept, she lights up and is really proud of her accomplishment. On the occasion when things don't exactly go her way, she has this amazing ability to bounce back. And this is a characteristic, also known as grit, that will carry her far. I also enjoy hearing about her drama experiences and I enjoy watching her on stage. I look forward to her future theatrical endeavors. Uh, Gabrielle is like someone who's, who will always help a friend or a classmate in need. She's a real mensch and I can't wait to hear about all you'll be doing in high school. Cheva is a very sweet girl. She's a very active uh, and engaged student, a bit of a rebel, but she wants to succeed and she will succeed, no question about it. Bats lacha. New to our school last year, Ava Rouse came in and immediately found her place here. She's curious, compassionate, and uses her knowledge to positively impact others. I've enjoyed just being a witness to how she organizes and motivates other people to think critically about the world. She's organized weddings, fashion shows, and countless other projects that went so well because of her involvement. Good luck next year. Keep writing and revising. I have been teaching Shana for the past two years. She's a hardworking, cheerful, and very helpful student. If someone in our school needs a helping hand, Shana is always one of the first to volunteer. In addition, I always admire her never quit attitude and positive outlook. We will miss you, Shana, next year. A 21st century educational goal is to teach kids to problem solve to not get stuck and to work your way through challenges. Nick, you never allowed yourself to get knocked down and you constantly came up with creative ways to learn the Gemara, to process the ideas, and to produce great results on tests. Take that with you to the upper school and forever. Mazal tov.